ஹே ஹாய் ஹலோ வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை நியூ வீடியோ திஸ் சம்பத்தி வாட்சிங் சம்பத் சாஃபெக்ஸ் போக்கோ எக்ஸ் த்ரீ கஸ்டம் ரோம் ரிவ்யூஸ் யூ கேன் சேர் திஸ் இஸ் அ லீடோ மெட்டோ கேமிங் ரோம் ஃபார் போக்கோ எக்ஸ் த்ரீ ஸ்லாஸ் என்எஃப்சி அண்ட் யூ கேன் சேர் சம் ஆஃப் தி ஸ்பெக்ஸ் ஆல் ஸ்பெக்ஸ் இஃப் ஏ கோ ஹேர் இட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆண்ட்ராய்ட் வெர்ஷன் டுவெல் அண்ட் செக்யூரிட்டி பேச்சஸ் ஃபிஃப்த் ஐ மீன் டூ தௌசண்ட் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஒன் இட்ஸ் மே செக்யூரிட்டி பேச் அவைலபிள் அண்ட் மே தேர்ட்டீன் அட்வான்ஸ்ட் ஓஎஸ் beta is available and kernel user is 4.14.180 puff so yeah kernel has been used this is little bit older but i found this in very good rom i'm using it from last week now i can make it clear about this rom stay tuned till the end of the video i'll be explaining everything in detail regarding this particular rom starting with here first the cpu throttling test as you can see i have run for 10 minutes and 1 milli 1 seconds and 3 milliseconds and the maximum is 150 and average is 141 and minimum is 129 million gips this is the score available and it's throttle to 91% of its max performance which is fine not bad either that's how the cpu throttling test. this is the dialer we get here as you can see and you can directly make the video call from this particular room and call recording is also available which is not a problem here you'll get notification here recorded call come back here this is the animations and you get this uh, status bar or whatever the notification toggle you get you can customize them further also for example if i go into battery you will see this kind of setting save battery balance and performance and i have been using this room for last week I haven't taken screenshots of battle life but I can say this one has a very good battle life in the previous one week I have charged only two times that you can understand but it's a very good battle life compared to previously made ROMs also is that too good and this is a quick setting smell simple thing may have 13 still all the vertical lines are still not available as I said before it comes with May security patch hence it's a little bit older ROM but there are some features which are available in me 13 and android 12 features we simply won't get in mere type of roms that you need to keep in mind starting with the benchmark results android benchmark results you get here you can see the app opening time but the ui is smooth enough you can see the scores 3 lakh 53,593 and temperature raise was just a little bit of higher compared to any other roms 4.7 degrees Celsius and battery drop was 3 percentage this you need not to be worry here and just i kept maybe the brightness was higher hence it is little bit higher if it is over 5 10 degrees celsius the temperature is only using this particular app then it's an major thing then you need to worry about that N- nothing to worry right now you can see apex legends call of duty free fire max pubg new state and bgm i have to install these are the things i am checking already i individually can't show you the gameplay if it is possible i can show call of duty i have tested apex legends as i said before only i am in low level if i go into 8th or 10th level then will be the battlegrounds um, mode is available now we will show the geekbench scores in this particular rom there is the geekbench if okay it's here you can see app opening little bit of time taking and single score is 558 and multi score is 1710 and as i said before kernel user is linux 4.14.180 of surya kernel has been used you can see our motherboard recognized as kernel it means you can use this particular rom on both the devices the ui is really smooth i have noticed it it says not in 120 or 60 or 90 but it is smooth i kept to 120 itself i'll show you the settings little bit later and drm info you can see here even the app opening took little bit second for this one also level 1 certification you can watch all the ott application in high definition i mean the hd resolution that's not the problem in this case now coming into safety net status and this is a pre rooted rom guys you won't get passed here as you can see it's failed you need to manually pass it as you can see i have used that magix model i mean i have updated it if you want you can furthermore update also as you can see there is update available of 25.2 i recommend check whether if the it's rebooted itself check whether it is in the stable version or not all the models you want to use is it 
compatible with the 25.2 or the available 24.1 version check out properly then only you can update the magix manager application and keep the models ready and have a look on that and flash it and use your smartphone you can also check out the rebooting time here it's getting rebooted when i opened magix because maybe it is updating itself and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified you can see this is a cool booting animation you get with snapdragon 732g with some of the circuits you get and if you like the video give it a like as you can see it took almost one minute to reboot your smartphone and there are a little bit of sounds and you can see here reloading takes a little bit of time whenever you reboot your smartphone that is the only complaint or bug whatever you can say other than that everything is smooth in this particular room and camera application you get MIUI I mean the ANX camera support all the features are working fine as you can see vlog mode everything is available just the interface little bit of difference but other than that everything is same and it's smooth enough even in the camera application the same smoothness available whatever you see in the user interface and again let me show you the magics whether it's got updated or it is in the same yeah it's in the 24.1 only you can flash the models using whatever models you have you can fix it the safety net status fix model you can flash here then you can use all the payment applications like phone pay paytm google pay everything will be going to work fine in this particular rom after that and gallery application is very simple MIUI gallery application you get all the basic settings here and you can furthermore edit it and uh, there are download plugins like sky mode everything is fine enough no need to worry every feature is available as you can see even the watermark feature is also available adjust those things are available that's fine now moving into the actual settings you get this kind of settings here now wallpapers and personalization you can agree to themes you get plenty of wallpapers here in super live wallpapers you get plenty of mio 12.5 kind of wallpapers are available and some more wallpapers are also available icons default font is kept to meal sans not pro that's how it is and always on display and lock screen is also working fine no problem just for the sake of good bad left i disabled it if you want to show off you can enable that and double tap to wake or turn off screen wake is also given wallpaper carousel no need to use pocket mode launch camera is working fine now coming into display settings as you can see light mode dark mode is given and dark mode is in pitch black condition and schedule dark mode you can schedule that no other options here yeah there are options you can adjust and individually choose for single application too color scheme you get this kind of option nothing heavy customization here in this color scheme options and refresh rate i kept to 120 it's really smooth in my opinion if you want a very good battle life you can downgrade it to 90 hertz if you want completely very good battle life then you can go to 60 hertz i recommend to keep 120 hertz or at least 90 hertz not for 60 hertz moving further like sound and vibration you get all the basic things working fine here vibration and haptic feedback you can enable from here for silent mode and haptic feedback just you can't choose any pattern or adjust the intensity that's missing in my opinion and profile video for income calls and additional settings so you can enable or disable and sound effects are given which is same if you want you can use the dolby atmos module from magix also which is working fine and notification and control storage the same thing if you can use the old version new version nothing change here notification effect is also given home screen settings you get basic things here minus one screen you can keep app alt or google disk or you can disable that and search bar provider animation speed i kept a fast animation this is a little bit the ua is a little bit in the different language i use the google lens from some other phone and change the language also that too you need to keep in mind whenever you flash this particular rom it will be in the different language I already made a video previously on similar kind of ROM like MIUI customized ROM there you can check out how to change the language whenever it is in the different language and folder bounce effect is there if and you can enable some of the settings are still in the different language you can individually check them and system navigation I kept to gestures and buttons option is also given the gesture bar is a little bit invisible here but fine 
no problem using it i can say this, you can customize some of them from here the only complaint in this particular rom is little bit of loading time it takes more compared to any other rom even the app opening and even if you go into this particular like i haven't visited this blur app previous it takes a little bit of time such such a way it takes some more time compared to any other roms and fingerprint face unlock and screen lock is working fine let me show you and there is a problem in fingerprint unlock also i'll show you this is a face unlock it's fine no problem but fingerprint unlock they haven't given any options to set as you can see now it's working you need to press it not touch touch option or press option that's simply missing if i go into fingerprint unlock let me show you as you can see there are no options here to set whether it is to be used for touch or press those options is missing in my open okay, face unlock as a seen as you can see here let me show you again as you can see it's a quick enough to unlock your smartphone using the face and fingerprint unlock if you want you can use pattern pin or other unlocking options these are the settings and uh, battery as i said before battery life is very good and i will show you the charging speeds and animation also i'm using this 33 watt charger cable as you can see me turbo charge is available it's now currently 90 percent it is little bit slower whenever it is around 20 30 percent it's little bit faster and you get this kind of animation that's same enough in any mu 13 roms or 12.5 that's still available in this particular rom and additional settings you get these kind of options memory extension up to 2 gb enterprise mode clear speaker quick ball one and mode those are available and special features slide bar floating window second space kit space privacy protection level light mode all these things are available in this particular room let me show you the call of duty and one of this video and you can use any gcam ports that are also available in this room you can use it you can see the graphics is set to max only as you can see ultra max mp only and graphic quality is low if you want you can keep it to very high also up to very high you get frame rates i recommend to use the same settings for better gameplay and you can see here and all other games also i have played i am not showing in this particular video i already made video a lengthy and so i am skipping it but you can definitely use it as a daily driver as a gaming rom yes of course it's very good gaming rom and it is having a little bit of older security patch but still the build date is a newer one the august build date this is the rom is and finally the user interface is also smooth if you are not going to play any high games like this you can still want to use the miui customized rom then you can have a look on this particular rom it's very good you can definitely use it as a daily driver and just you need to be note that there is a little bit of time while opening apps and while opening the actual settings like that and other than that the here you get uh, magics as a pre-installed i mean you will get rooted rom here if you want to unroot that's not possible here that you need to keep in mind and overall it's a very good rom you can see there is no lag whatsoever while playing games and even in the regular usage of the user interface is smooth enough to use in 120 hertz refresh rate and 90 hertz it's fine 60 hertz i don't recommend that's how it is and uh, that's the verdict of this particular rom mui lido mart where is the enemy i can't see him The firing mode a little bit difficult here and uh, loudness is also loud enough here. I'm running out of ammo here, no ammo. Let me try. Knocked out two. Okay. 
for bjmi you need to wait guys once it's officially available in the play store again i'll definitely make it out and apex legends as i said before i need to update the level of the game individually then i can make the battle royal gameplay of apex Legends and pubg new state it's also work as smooth as this call of duty mobile you can definitely try it out if you want to play those games bjmi i recommend to go with abx rog edition as of now and if you want in aosp type of custom rooms then you can try out the cherish was 3.6 not the latest one 3.6 was a little bit better compared to 3.8 and also you will get 90 fps option by default available in that particular room you can have a look on that and don't comment again this or other room other or this room i already said in this video and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video and this is Miuel Lido Mato edition for advanced OS of Mio 13 with Android version 12 for Poco XC slash NFC. Thank you for watching. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now.